I decided to go see uh, Furiosa, a Mad Max saga or whatever, and I, I was a little more impressed than I, I thought I was going to be. The warning has been put up. I was going to wait to talk about this. I l- literally, literally just, I was going to the theater today. I came home. I was like, I'm just going to go to bed. I'm not going to record this. But then my brain started like firing and I was like, I, I have to talk about this. We're just going to go right into it. We're just I, like, I'm, I'm, I'm just filibustering at this point about this movie because I was like, I was a little in... There, I I remember when I saw the trailer, I was like, okay, looks cool, right? I I remember I saw Fury Road uh, when it I didn't see it in theaters or when it came out. Like I think I like waited a little bit, but I remember being obsessed with that movie. Like uh, I dressed as a guitar guy for uh for like a Comic Con, you know, and I remember just being hyped about that kind of stuff. So it was just that I remember that experience was dope. And I saw that I was like, it looked cool, but like I, I feel like we're entering an age where like there's I'm, I'm I feel like a lot of people are being picky about the movies they choose to see. You know, a lot of people just don't go to the theaters anymore and i remember whenever i i I saw some like videos and like tiktoks about it where like people were saying like oh the theater is dying because like they said uh memorial there was like a statistic saying that like memorial day is like the the, is like the the day for summer blockbusters and like that's when like uh furiosa came out and and, and it apparently didn't do too well but like i was like okay that's interesting And, and for me i'm gonna tell you this right now i love going to the movies i've been going to the movies since for as far as I can remember, I my 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 family we, we went to the movies and to this day I still go to the movies. I'll go with my family. I'll go with my friends. I'll go by, my, by myself. I I love going to the movies. I love walking in there. You know, paying a million dollars for my popcorn, getting a getting some little drinks, some sweet. I love that. I love that experience of going to the theaters. It's one of my favorite things. Just to sit down. I'm gonna shut my brain off and enjoy a good movie. Like what uh Nicole Kidman said. We come here for magic or whatever. I. I love that. I love that feeling. And I will, I'm, I will continue to keep going to the theaters for as long as possible. You know, I don't know if the, like they said, that the movie theaters are dying. They're not dying for me. Definitely there are other influences that cause that different conversation. We're not here to talk about that. This is about Furiosa. So anyways, I was like, okay, like people, you know, I guess for his box office opening, it didn't do so well. Then again, I don't think, uh, I don't know if you a free road did well either. As far as like, you know, big numbers. I don't know. We can look up the statistics here in a minute. But Happy Feet director here. Well, I don't know what you were smoking. But like, look, Furiosa, man, it had action. It had drama. It had romance. It had cars on fire. Now, as his counterpart to Fear Road. Fear Road, definitely more action. If I had like give equals, it's like Doom Part 1 and Part 2. Doom Part 1 was a little more story driven versus Doom Part 2 was like, okay, here's the action. And I feel that's the way with Furiosa. Furiosa was a little more, there's a little more story there going on. And then the, and then Fury Road was like, boom, you know, guys shooting fire out of guitar. So I was like hearing like, okay, it didn't do so well, but I, I, I did hear some good things about it. So it just made me curious. So I texted one of my good friends, hey, they, and because they wanted to see it, let's go tonight. Go see it, saw an IMAX. And I got to say, for some reason, that was the loudest IMAX I've ever been in my life. My ears were like, you know, that little one, when, when something's just not loud, but just loud enough where it kind of pierces your ears slightly, like little... Sorry if I did that to you. I'll try to lower it down in the, in the post. But you know what I mean? That's like, it was just, it was annoying. But like, also cool because like that movie needed to be loud. So let's start it off. Beginning. I don't mean a victim blame or anything, but Furiosa, you got yourself caught. You got a little too greedy and you got yourself caught. But then again, later you realize, oh, you were, she had to stop these bikers. Uh, later you get the, you figured out that like, okay, like they're trying to protect the green place. Now, here's the thing. When I, I was kind of like against seeing for you, I wouldn't say it against it, but I was like, cause they were talking about the green place in, in, and I don't hear, I don't know much about Mad Max lore and uh, apparently the movies are kind of connected, but they're not. This guy on Reddit said it better than I did. Apparently like all of Mad Max lore is like just spoken mouth. So all of it's like kind of like these myths and legends that just were told over time, which is kind of a cool way to put it, whatever. I actually might watch the rest of the Mad Max film because I've never seen them. If you would like me to go on that journey, let me know. But so with that said, the green place, I remember in Fury Road, if I'm correct, the green place like just doesn't exist anymore. So I was kind of like, what's the point of watching this prequel? If I know how like it, it, it plays out, like, you know, but I was like, let's watch it. She gets caught because, you know, yeah, if you're also, if you're also seeing, the people go after her, uh, her, 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 the thing is her mother goes after her. And then there's some cool, like, boom, boom, shooting, shooting, shoot, 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 blah, 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 gun. You know, you, you get, you get introduced to this, this, uh, Curtis Hemsworth, you know, Dr. D- D- Dominicus, D- Demetrius, or whatever. He's got this group going on and like, and they're like, whoa, where's the, where's the, where's the place? And the minute you see Chris Hemsworth, like he turns his face and he's got his like giant prosthetic nose. First of all, I don't know. I was talking to my friend. I don't think they really gave Chris Henward's direction when he was doing this part. They're like, 
they just I think they just put him in the outfit, put put, put on his prosthetic nose, and they were like, "You do you, man." And I think he just kind of figured it out in there. And I remember seeing the trailers, like, why is he talking like that? He's like, that's how he was talking. And I was like, I'm, but I'm assuming, man, the minute he put that outfit on, he got the prosthetic nose, like, it just came to him. And honestly, I, at this moment, I don't know if he was a genius for the choices he made, or he was kind of buffoonery with it. Either way, he's, I kind of like his character, though. Like, it's kind of this, like, uh, he's charismatic, but also he's a little nutty. But there's also parts of him that I'm like, man, he's got some tragedy to him. So this just... There are moments where like, oh, this guy's a bad guy. We know it. And then there's moments like, oh, wait, he's kind of got it hard, too. Anyways, so there's a part where like they do escape. Her mom helps her. They get out. And then she's like, go, go, Furiosa. Be free. And here's the thing about At first, I was like, man, I can't believe you guys, you got yourself caught. You a dummy. But then I'm like, oh, you're, you're, you got a little spunk to you. And I kind of like that, you know, literally chewed uh, like a fuel line with her teeth. That's crazy. I was like, there's no way you did that. There's no way. But crazy, crazy, crazy girl. Anyways. She escapes, but then, like, sees that her mother gets caught, and then, like, I remember my friend looked at me like, please don't get off the bike. She gets off the bike, runs head on into, like, this group of people who are, like, torturing her mother, and then they make her watch it, cries. Kristen was licking her tears. I'm like, what is going on? Why'd she get off the bike? But then again, she's a child. It's not her fault. And I thought, I sat there in the movie, it's not her fault. She's a child. Her mother's getting tortured. Anyways, they kind of just keep the child around, you know, and then... (sighs) make her watch horrible things there's an old man who's like wrinkly and knows history and here's the thing about this movie there's a lot of time jumps that old man never ages like he's old looking but like he never gets older looking some other characters kind of get older looking like a uh, chris Hemsworth's character but like the old man never ages ages like um a good few years pass like i think eight or ten uh, i don't know anyways I-, I don't know how old um furiosa is in this movie i think she's 10 when she gets captured so she's in her 20s or so like when and in- in- i think in this movie so anyways they go confront the dude from the first movie i can't remember remember his name uh the who's like the the, the the skull mask you know and they got the guy like rubbing his nipple with the chain that's a little bit weird they try to overthrow him he's like nah i ain't having it like my, my men they'll die for me the war boys you know i got my man my friend were like we got kind of hyped when we saw the, the war boys i forgot how like just fun of the characters they are so yeah they, they're right literally rides or dies you know put that spray on for valhalla we jump committed suicide right in front of everybody so after that, you know, uh, Chris Hemsworth was like, okay, I don't really have much negotiating power with this um, guy. We gotta, we gotta know. So like, okay, there's different, I, and I didn't know this about Mad Max. There's different fortresses in the wasteland. I'm like, okay, where, where, where are we? Fallout now? Jeez Louise, war never changes. So there's a Citadel. There's three fortresses. I didn't know this. There's three fortresses. There's like the, the Citadel, which is like mostly like food. Then there's, they go to Gas Town. I'm like, this is literally, cause I was thinking like, how are they like sustaining a, an economy here? Like apparently there's one going on. I, I, I mean, I just assume that it's like, raiders and looters and everything like that but like how are they like they're dry and that's another thing about when I, about the mad max the outfits stuff totally ridiculous totally unnecessary like chris hemsworth is is pulling a chariot of like three motorcycles is that even practical would that even work you know and and the outfits weird cod pieces with like tubes and stuff like like i said the guy was literally rubbing his nipple with a chain some of these outfit choices do not make sense but it doesn't need to. This is Mad Max. Who cares if he's riding a chariot made of three motorcycles? It is dope. It is dope as hell. Anyways, we found out there's a ga- a town. I didn't. I didn't know this. Gas town. There's a town just made made out of g- where they just make gas. I'm like, was this like an oil pit? Don't know how that worked. But this is where we get the gas from. So Chris Hemsworth is like, I'm gonna take over this, you know, so I can have some negotiating power. Even betray some of his own like followers or some uh, acquaintances with that dastardly dude doctor there so he does that you know and then he has bargaining power with um our, our, our guy from fear row that i remember uh so they negotiate and then after a trade they're like oh actually i want furiosa give me her she and then this is you kind of like oh this gets a little dark like just uh i don't know my I, like i said it was a long time when i watched fear road and just how dark some of the like the the themes of the of the movie get because like i don't remember what this rating i think the rate of the movie was pg-13 but there were some pretty violent things in there like there's a part where he's like negotiating the deal with like the guy, Chris Hemsworth, and he's got this giant bar thing that he's like about to like stab some guy in the head with. And but he, for some reason, he's got his nipples and his septum attached to it. I don't know why he did that. Don't know why he did that. But when he finally lets go, it rips his nipple off. And I'm like, why did you do that? This guy's insane. This movie's crazy. Absolutely bonkers. So they pretty much get Fioso to like, you know, this is kind of like dark, but like we're basically keeping her. So like when she gets older, she could be one of our wives. That is like creepy as hell, but she's smart. She's a smart little one. And uh, one of the sons of the guy, like, I don't know why he's playing his hair. I don't know if he's just being like a creepy 
a creepo with it, but she managed her escape that way. And I, I do find it kind of weird that like she escapes and it seems like no one really questioned that she escaped. I was like, okay, whatever. That's fine. Uh, let's move the story along. By the way, the movie was very long and it actually plays out in like different acts. Like it goes like act one, act two, act two. I think it goes like five or six acts. Anyways, I don't remember fully, but like it goes in acts and like one of them was like lessons of the wasteland, you know, and then like, your fallout music plays. It doesn't, but that'd be funny if it did. Anyways. Um, over time, she's, like, moving up in the ranks of, like, the engineers and, like, the mechanics, you know, and you know, everyone thinks she's a boy, but she's not. Um, she's mute the whole time. She didn't say anything. She's, like, silent type. So, like, and, and, and this girl played the long game. I mean, she had so much hate in her that she was like, I am going to spend the rest of my years being around these people, not even escaping, just so I can kill this guy. That's what I'm going to do. He's like, she, like, she pulled up, like, Kendrick, Kendrick, like, I hate the way you talk, the way you dress, the way you, I like, literally just like on site when she sees this man you know and quite frankly like did he i don't even know if he did that much i mean yeah huh? he killed he, he he was the leader of the group that did torture the mother i'll give him that actually but you know the wasteland be wastelanding this is that's my what i'm saying anyways so she moves up the rank becomes like a mechanic and then proves herself to like uh the driver pro- the, 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 there's a name pr- prat- predator i don't predators pro- prod- i don't there's a name of the dude. J- his name is Jack, but there's a name of the people who like basically, you know, send the supplies out. There's a cool scene where like they got to take down like a uh, these raiders trying to tilt to take their um their food supply. Anyways, that was a cool scene. You know, everybody dies except our Anna Taylor Joy and our guy Jack. And this is where I did not expect this to happen. And I feel like it's been shame lately in Hollywood to have a little bit of passion in movies. You know, this was not advertised. And I was there with my friend and she saw it happen. And she looks at me like, oh, no. And I'm like, what do you mean? Oh, no. And so we start. We can't, we can't watch it. You know, we can't watch it. So. This guy, he kind of talk. He talks to you know, Furiosa, and is like, "Look, you have, you have, you have, you have a fire in you. I can help you tame it. I can help you like learn the ways of the wasteland. And then when you're ready, you can be free. I'll help you out. Cool. So these people start. These two start forming a little bond. Like they got each other, you know. And they're they're they get each other. Like and this guy Jack, he's like this kind of strong, stoic type. Says what he needs to do. You know. You know. Doesn't say doesn't say a whole lot. But when he does, it's like it means something. Like he's God, this man, this man right here. And then she, you know, she's a little guarded, but like, you know, she, she wants to let him in a little bit, you know, you maybe, you know, but there's a part though. Well, okay. Here's when you learn the third, the third place gun city or whatever. I think that's what it was called where they just, I, cause I was wondering where are they getting all these bullets? I guess they got a place where they're making bullets. So the three currencies are oil, um, bullets and food. That's so the three things, I mean, you know, food, like clues water, right? But like, okay, those are three things. So they go to Gun City. You know, she's at this point like moved up in the ranks. You know, she's like driving with him and everything, and we're all cool and dandy. Anyways, they they they're like we, we like we don't like how things are running here. We gotta we like the the the, the doctor disrespect or whatever. He was all like they, they were like he's running things to the ground. We he's ruining um Gas City or whatever. We gotta like we gotta have a meeting about this the war meeting. Anyways, he goes to the Jack. Here's the boomstick you asked for, and then they're driving or whatever. He's like, hey. Furiosa, I got you this. I got you a gift. Hands of the boomstick. My friend looks at me and goes like, that is so romantic. <laughs> and I'm like, are they forming? Are they falling in love? Like, no, they're just, they're just good coworkers, right? No. At one point she gets in, she gets stabbed in like a fight in when the Raiders come or like, or whatever, something like that. And they're like back at the crib and like, he's like stitching her up and he's like, just telling her like, you know, like, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm like there for you and everything. And I'm like, this is like. And like, and then she's kind of like distance with it. Like I can come with you or you come with me or whatever. I don't know. And she's kind of off put, but then she's like, I like you though. And like, they kind of have a moment and like they get close to each other and like do a little half horror touch. And I'm like, are we getting romance in, in, in this Furiosa Mad Max movie? I did not expect this. My, I came in here thinking I'm going to watch a movie with just exploding cars, but no, I'm like having to feel today. No. Anyways, I'm like, they have a moment and it's, it's kind of, it's kind of beautiful Do you know, this crazy, crazy world. Like, the world's on fire, but maybe I can watch it burn with somebody, you know, kind of situation. Anyways, so. They got they got one last job, and then they're out of the game for good. So, they're having their big escape. They're playing their escape. And then we'll go to the, go to the green place together and, you know, be happy. Maybe we maybe pop a few kids in the wasteland. I don't know. We'll, we'll just see. So, they get to Gun City. Turns out, it's overrun. You know, uh, our Chris Hemsworth um, took it over. Tragic. They it, And that scene lasted way longer than I thought it was. And... Our dude Jack, I thought he was going to die there. He doesn't. He manages to escape. They escape. And then, because, like, for you, also, it's like, I can't leave this man behind. Like, I, I, you know, he's, he's my guy, you know? So, like, they, they help each other escape. 
Furiosa like takes a, a rocket launcher to the face, practically survives that, survives it. It's and and this and like, and also you see Chris from Heroes Critter, and he's older now. He's got like a more of a gray beard, still jacked as ever. He's the only character who like kind of ages. I mean, Anna Taylor Joy, she like ages, but that's because she gets a new actor. Everyone else looks exactly the same. There's like not really wrinkles or extra gray hair. Chris Hemsworth, kind of the only one. But at this point, you can see that he's kind of falling apart. He's uh, maybe a little over his head. I don't know exactly what happened, but anyways. So he gets a little itch though. He's like, okay, they escape. Then they're a good distance away. And they're like, we're escaping together. Here's our plan. And then he's like, mm, and then Chris Hemsworth was like, no, I'm going after you. I'm going after y'all. He does. And he's just like, he is relentless. He's like, I got a, I got a, I got a passion in me. I need to just destroy these people. I can't let them be happy. So he goes after them. And that's a, and that's when you, that's when you, oh, and that's when I forgot. Oh yeah. Furiosa has a robotic arm. I saw how she got it. <coughs> Ran to the tire. He gets shot in the shoulder or I, yeah, yeah, I think so. Anyways, they get the car crash. They both get dragged out. And this is a moment where like, you can tell that they're like, even though they're both bloody and probably half, um, unconscious they're still like talking to each other and just like like i'm here for you you know and stuff like that and that's when he's all like no i can't allow this i don't care that you guys like each other or love each other i'm gonna both make you suffer and this is where i'm like okay i'm starting to see why furious is so mad literally she's like all my life i've had a fight they took everything from her and this is where i was like my my friend walked out of the theater for this like i'm like this is too much emotion i need to i need to walk out <laughs> my friend kept telling me he's this man is too hot to die please don't tell me he dies so the, one of the most tragic things I've ever seen happen in a movie. So, like, like I guess I did not expect to come in to this movie to romance. And I've said this in pretty some of my previous videos. I'm a little bit sucker for a little bit of romance. It's, it's, I don't I don't mind it. It's it's kind of nice. But depending if they do it well, sometimes it's forced. But this one felt like they didn't feel too forced to me. They so I'll tell tell you what happens here. If you want to skip the gruesome part, you can skip to this. But so what they do is they hang her. They hang Furiosa by her dangling arm, and they take her man tie him to a bike drag him in a circle for hours while dogs are chasing and eating and trying to eat him and, and the, the whole time chris hemsworth is sitting there like just chilling he's just chilling and they just they just do that for like hours or whatever i'm like that is a brutal way to go and to watch your love and she had to watch two people she loved be tortured by this man and i could see exactly why how much she hates him is is it was hard i was like and my friend comes back later. What happened to the guy? I told her at the end of the movie. And I was like, yeah, he, he, he didn't make it. He, but my boy did not make it. That was brutal. That was like brutal. I was like, I was in the theater like flabbergasted with my popcorn. I was like, oh my gosh, no wonder she's so mad. So Angie's so fierce though, rips her arms off, escapes, gets back to the Citadel. And is like telling him like, look, he's come back. Thor's come back with a vengeance. Y'all need to listen to me. They don't want to listen to her. But eventually he's like, look, y'all need to make a plan. Anyways, they make a plan. Then we get the whole speech of War Never Changes kind of speech. You know, every war movie's got to have it. So not really a war movie. Anyways, so uh, they f do a little fake out. Thor comes around like we're going to war. And then we get a little montage of like, you know, of, of like a 40 day war. Apparently um, that happened. The guitar guy makes a cameo. I had a feeling he was going to make a cameo. I kind of wish they used him more. But then again, you know, it would have kind of took away from the the beauty that the, he was used in Fury Road. So towards the end, Furiosa, she gets a robotic arm. It's like... We go kill this guy. It's, it's got, we got to end it. She gets a car ready up, goes out there, gets a better car. Like, yep, I'm I'm going to go kill this man. And then, like, I guess Furiosa's legendary myth comes to rise. So, vroom, vroom, go out there, chases out Thor and his uh, his gang. They do a little split up. She manages to catch her and kill all of them. So, you know, another one gets killed by a raider. Anyway, she pulls up on him. He's now old, tired Thor. You know, he's not like the, the red D Dominicus or D Demetricus or whatever his name is when he, like, got the little... He, he came red for a while because of the little smoke bomb or whatever, but he's old, a little bit more fragile, not as, not as quick as he used to be. You know, she pulls up a man in the desert, strips him of all his belongings, and just tortures the man. You know, and this is something that reminded me, uh, Anna Taylor Joy said this interview about how, like, she, she talked about how, like, like, she's playing characters that, like, cried a lot or something like that, and she said that, like, no, I want to play, I want, I don't want the character to cry, I want them to be angry and mad, because, like, you know, as a woman, like, she's, Saying that, like, she felt like a lot of Hollywood interpret. I I'm paraphrasing here. Don't, like, quote me exactly. But she was saying, basically, like, Hollywood depicts women as being, like, you know, soft and, like, you know, and stuff like that. And she's like, no, like, we get angry and stuff like that. So, I this is a... And she did shed a tear at one point in the scene. But, like, th this scene, she's just, like, beating the crap out of him. Like, and she's so mad and so angry. Like, she has literally lost so much. At first, I was like, girl, you need to chill out. But then towards the end of the movie, I'm like, dang, you lost... You lost so much. You lost your home. You lost your family. 
You lost your innocence. You lost your, like, you just saw things that you were too young to see. You lost your first love. You know what I mean? That's that's a hard one. You have nothing left. But that's when you learn that, like, it gets interesting for, you know, Chris Hemsworth here, where he's like, you're, you're kind of just like me. I lost everything, too. Now you're just like me. It's like kind of the whole Batman, like, you either die a hero or live long and become the villain. And, and it just feels like, yeah, we're, we're kind of like, they're not the same. But also, like, we both have enough hatred in our heart that we have done horrible things. And now, like, it doesn't matter how much we hate, how much we kill. Like, it just never stops. When are you going to find peace? You know what I mean? So, yeah, eventually, though, my man dies, Thor dies. Uh, and there's a whole like thing about like how it's kind of a different ending. Um, that's another thing, actually. I saw this. We're on back in there. When she's beating the crap out of him, he kind of has like a seizure and like passes out. And you never stop to think about that when like someone's beating somebody in a movie that they just kind of maybe just pass out for a little bit or, or, or they get a little like they just get down. But like, no, she hits him so much that like it looks like he has like kind of a slight seizure and like, oh, this, he, this is how he dies. Could you imagine beating somebody that you wanted to kill them your whole life and they just die from a seizure because you just punched them in the right spot? You know, he doesn't, he doesn't die from that, but he does pass out a little bit. So it, it, it kind of alludes because like, like I said, the whole Mad Max, I guess, lore wise is just like it's all told through story and stuff because there's just no record of anything you know there's debate on like how she chose to like kill him like they said she either tortured him just shot him or or but apparently in the actual lore lore like they they confirm that like she makes this man into a tree she she makes him into a tree picks fruit off of him and he's like a living tree he's still alive it is wild that is a that's a gruesome way to, to to end someone's like not end their life but just prolong that suffering so that i guess it makes it worth it like towards the end because you're just like dang she went through a lot she went through so much just to like get revenge on this man and she got her revenge and not just by killing him by just keeping this man alive just barely enough so he lives in pain every single day damn that's cold-blooded furiosa cold-blooded and then it's in the movie you get the little montage that she goes to the wives chooses to free them and you get the mad max for your road montage of the you know, the movie of that movie and in, 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 in credit and i was like that was a dope movie what i say is the perfect movie i've ever watched no i was texting somebody about it tonight and it's like if you have no expectations then like you're just not gonna be disappointed i had no expectations of this movie i was it was just a wednesday night for me just gonna go out hang out with my friend and yeah that's all i was gonna do and I just, wow, that movie was just better than I thought it was going to be. I, it's a shame that like, I, you know, it seems like not many people saw it, but like, you know, I enjoyed it and I'm glad I did. And now it makes me want to go watch the other Mad Max movies. And I probably will. I, I don't know if I should. Do you guys want me to do that? Yeah. yeah do y'all, do y'all want me to do that? I, I, I'll go do it and I'll review every single one of them. And then we'll rewatch Free Your Road and see how that holds up. But just like, dang, I, I enjoyed myself. I, this, like I said, happy, it was just like Happy Feet. <laughs> Just the drama, you know, the the romance, the passion, the action. Jeez Louise. Anyways, that was my experience watching Furiosa, a, a Mad Max saga. By golly, Miss Molly. And now, and now I hear they're making another one with Tom Hardy. Am I just? Am I about to dive another franchise? I just finished Planet of the Apes. Like Jesus, ugh, it, it never ends. There's so many franchises, but okay, more material. Anyways, thanks for watching. Juice out.